गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दिस पेशेंट वी हैव अ 25 फाइव ईयर ओल्ड मेल राइट हैंड डोमिनेंट ही इज ही वर्क्स इन अ सी सी टी वी कंपनी बाई प्रोफेशन एंड हिज वर्क इन्वॉल्व लिफ्टिंग एंड इंस्टॉलिंग ऑफ हैवी कैमराज ही सफर्ड अ रोड ट्रैफिक एक्सीडेंट अबाउट थ्री मंथस अगो इन विच ही इंजर्ड हिज Uh, right shoulder uh, he took some uh, treatment from a private practitioner and since then he's been suffering from pain in his right shoulder and deformity some deformity in his right shoulder uh, there is no other significant history so when we ask about the history ye uh, batao dard kahan pe hota hai dusre hath se hath laga ke batao koi kaam nahi ho pata na vajan uth pata so he typically points towards the top of the shoulder when he tells the location of the pain so this is classical for a ac joint uh, problem or pathology pain at the top of the shoulder rest of the shoulder pathologies present with pain which is along the lateral border of the arm along the deltoid but ac joint pathologies will always present with pain at the top of the shoulder at the location of the ac joint actually so uh, after the history we come to the ex uh, examination in examination we always follow the dictum of look feel move measure and special tests so in inspection or when we look uh, at the shoulder from the front or the side the most apparent thing is the deformity which we see at the top of the shoulder Yeah, so the we can see that the clavicle has gone up uh, from the acromioclavicular joint and this deformity is quite apparent as we observe from the front side and the back you have to look for other features any atrophy any other scars any other swellings uh, to complete your inspection findings you always also have to look for the scapula when you come to palpation palpation always starts with temperature look for temperature on the normal side and the affected side compare the temperature and then look for tenderness so if i look for tenderness on the ac joint you can see that uh, looking at his eyes just that this ac joint is tender so there is a apparent deformity in the if we look at the deformity palpation the deformity there is a step as i come from the clavicle medially uh, laterally uh, and i just i reach at the end of the clavicle my finger just falls down so there's a step a deformity at the acromioclavicular joint level uh, there's also one more sign as known as a piano key sign so if i press this clavicle lateral end of clavicle down this is dipping down a little and this is a piano key sign typical of a, a chronic ac joint dislocation so you have to complete your palpation findings uh, by looking at the biceps the coracoid and gt tenderness uh, movements you can ask the patient to take uh, uh, the look at the active and passive movements dono hath apne upar uthayenge so his forward flexion is com uh, almost comparable to the other side and sir ke hath piche leke jayenge so there is some pain while doing his movements but they are almost comparable niche leke aayenge ghum jayenge kamar ke haath dono haath kamar ke piche leke jayenge so all the movements upar le jao piche so all the movements are comparable on both the sides there is some pain in the terminal movements so terminal movements pain especially in forward flexion and abduction are again classically indicative of ac joint pathology uh coming to the special test so special test for ac joint pathology is a cross body adduction test this is a passive test you take the arm across the body into adduction position patient will classically have pain at the top of the uh, ac joint aise karne mein dard ho raha hai aapko thoda bahut ho raha hai kahan pe ho raha hai dard again the patient points at the top of the shoulder so all this is classical of a ac joint pathology the other test described as the pexinos so pexinos you take your uh, hold the clavicle with the your index finger and the, your thumb is over the back of the scapula and try and look for tenderness as you press the clavicle back and the scapula forward aise karne mein koi dard hai 
Paxinose is not classically positive here, but rest of your all findings go towards a classical AC joint arthritis. So my diagnosis, clinical diagnosis in this patient would be a 25-year-old gentleman, a heavy manual laborer by occupation with three months old right side dominant shoulder AC joint dislocation with arthritis.